Hi lovely peoples! So many of you asked me how to preserve vegetables, especially when vegetable comes in seasons, you know, and then there is just so much, and then perhaps you buy so much, what are you gonna do it? Right, let's preserve it. One of the simplest vegetables. Eggplant, melanzane, aubergines. This is a recipe very old, it comes from my own time, my auntie Janina, she used to do that. It was so simple. You can do it. So make sure you find the nice aubergines. Remove the top. And then start to slice it. Don't do like me. Don't forget I am a cook and never you cut an aubergines with a knife towards you. You do this way. It's also easy. So you start to, to peel it. Why not to use the skin? Because this particular one, the skin, when you preserve it, is a little bit too hard. At the end of the day, you know, do this way, it's much better. I start to cut them in slices. You can see how thick the slices are. Not very thick. Don't ask me what an inch is or perhaps a centimetre. I always get confused. So, I just slice it. Slice have to be about a quarter of an inch, something like that. Lovely colour, look at that. You can do all the length way or you can do them in a half. I prefer mine also doing a half and then you cut them again. Look, like a matchstick, a little bit bigger. I never forget when I was a little boy, this is, was a stable dice for me. To eat it, put them in the sandwiches with some nice olives. Oh my gosh, what a memory. Again, so easy. Try to see what you're doing. Don't be like me watching you. So you done some. Now you get some salt. Make sure you use good salt. Please do not use the salt to look like a sand. They're so fine it. And then you don't know how much you put them on top, God knows what is inside. This particular one, English salt, is called, it's called Maldum salt. Maldum, Maldum, way, you know what it is. And then again, slice it. It's such a joy to do it. A little bit more salt. Just try to mix a little bit. Now, we need to put something on top which fits almost covered because this is in a plate and a very old plate and then once you've done this one you put a weight on top anything and then you leave about a couple hours nothing at all after a couple hours let me show you what's happened oh yeah you have the aubergines look they've been pressed you need a bowl here as well and then you need one other glass bowl or terracotta or everything to do it. So you grab it and with your hands, you put them together and you squeeze it. First, you squeeze the rest of the water. Look at that. Can you imagine the aubergine so much water? Just keep squeezing. It's strong. If you can do it, ask anyone a little younger than me. I'm sure they can do it. Look, keep doing it straight inside. Once you've done it, you discharge this water, which is, look at that, it's so much. That was just one aubergines. Look how much is it. Let's put them inside the bowl here. Then you put it back in a the bowl, they're losing up a little bit. Now you get some very good vinegar. Very important the vinegar you use it. You have to use nice wine vinegar. It's available everywhere. Now go my Jamie, sorry, I have to use it because I love it. Just put them on top. Probably used about 100 ml. Now, the aubergines is a kind of a absorber. It's a kind of a, a, a cloth, a sponge. Takes everything uh, because it's soft. It does absorb everything you put them inside. Grab them again, again, put between your hands. I squeeze it, okay, in a bowl, loosen it a little bit, okay. 
Now, you get some garlic if you like garlic. This particular one, I only use one clove of garlic. You slice it. Don't do small, slice it. Believe me, the garlic is quite strong. Just put them inside. Enough, because it's only one aubergines. Then you got chili, fresh or dry. If you want to keep them up for a long time, you use dry. If you want to do straight away, you use fresh. So I use dry because I love them. Just, just a little bit on top. If you cannot have a chili or perhaps it's too strong, do not use it. Some nice oregano and full oregano, you put them on top. Now you get some nice olive oil. What I suggest to you, not to use extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin is quite strong. It's very, very good. I use it for everything extra virgin, but not this particular one because you will taste it, a kind of a bitterness, that grassy, that nutty of extra virgin. You almost lose the flavor of the aubergines with the vinegar and the garlic. So you use our olive oil, simple olive oil, but have to be olive oil. Just, just put them inside. I say not too much. Get a fork, mix it. Oh gosh, this is so good. I eat like this. Get a jar, side, put a cloth, remove it from the top, and start to fill the jar. Oh yeah. Just empty it, everything goes. I can see, look. Straight in, and if you have a little bit of bread, you can even do the scarpetta. Come on, come on. Oil is so important, not to waste olive oil is so important. Remember, every olive is in a tear. Can you imagine how much joyful tears I have inside here? Let's have a look. You need some little more oil. So again, just put the rest of the olive oil. Do you know what? I'm going to put them inside here because I don't want to lose it. That's a lovely flavor, everything. This is another different way. See? Close the jar. Leave them for a few days. Let me show the way I like to eat this one. Andrea! Bring my dose bruschetta. Come on. Thank you. Andrea, you got some string here. Perhaps you angle this one up. You sure? All right, I trust you. No, no, it's smoking. Okay, it's smoking. Take him out the burner. <sighs> I love it. Yeah, give me another one, Andrea, because I'm sure I've got everybody here that like it. Grab it. Thank you, Andrea. Such a lovely boy. Oh my gosh. You got party. You got lots and lots of people inside here. Do one of these. You can feel quite a few people that will love it. And this one is for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 Oh my mom. Taste is so good. So don't forget. When you buy aubergines, or peppers, or fennels, or little long broccoli, or beans, anything else, you can do this way. You can preserve it, and you can join the season whenever you like. But also, it's memory. If you buy those when they're in season, so you start to preserve it, two, three months go by, and then you start to eat it, you remember that particular day, how joyful it was, when you made it, they say, hey, I didn't chuck anything away with anything. Arrivederci! Ciao. Buon appetito. Andrea! Come on, eat one.